This is still flying. Well, we don't have a payload at the moment, so we are just testing without payload how much time it will fly. Right now I'm flying for 12 minutes, almost, or more than 12 minutes now. Let me teach you a simple thing, how to fly target lock manually, okay, which is very, very simple. So first thing you need to do is set your NASA or a WKM a yaw rate to 135% or whatever suits you. And then the trick is to match the yaw and the aileron in certain direction and your camera will be facing in the same target, on the same target all the time while the quad or your multi-rotor will be hovering around it. It creates very, very nice videos, very nice videos. So you can do it inwards or outwards, both ways, the camera looking inwards and outwards. So for, for now, the quad is looking at us, so we assume there is a subject in the center. So accordingly, whatever yaw, uh, left or right, I want, I can choose that. And I can yaw a little bit of elevator up, like forward direction. And then I will match the yaw, aileron, and elevator. And you can see the machine is doing the target lock motion. So you can increase and decrease the circle manually. So WKM actually has this feature, but if you want to do it manually, it's just too simple. All you need to do is match the sticks, yaw, aileron, and elevator. And you can see beautiful circle. So you can do left circles or right circles, depending upon your choice. Pod can also see. This. So you can see. Arisha, wait. Wait a moment. Arisha, wait. See, Arish, what is flying? See? So this is a very short circle, very little radius. And if I want, I can increase the radius accordingly. It needs a little bit of practice, and you can actually do it.